Uh, the, the BI policy has evolved over, uh, over a couple of hundred years. It, it originated in the UK with insurance companies trying to recognize the fact, sort of during and after the Industrial Revolution, that the impact of a loss, a physical damage loss, also carried with it a business interruption element. And the difficulty was not knowing how to actually make a payment to, that would respond properly to the business's loss. So the origins of it were really back in 1797 when a, a company in the UK attempted to cover the costs that continued, largely, largely interest charges. And it developed on from that to companies that attempted to make a, a proportional payment based on the property damage cover. And from then it, it went on to per diem payments. So payments were made every day when the business was inoperative as a result of the insured peril. And then in about 1900, things became a little bit more sophisticated. Accounting systems had developed to the point where there was such a thing as standard accounting procedures. And a policy was developed by a Scottish gentleman who indexed the cover to the loss of sales in any business. And even today, businesses operate on the basis of a top line number, which is the beginning of their accounting principles, which is sales. So if you can measure the impact on the loss of sales and then somehow work out a, a payment commensurate with the loss of sales, then you've got a, a, a policy that will work. That was um, developed again. And in about 1939, there was a standard UK form developed. And at the same time, the Americans came out one, with one which was a standard US wording, developed further to in the UK to uh, an ABI, Association of British Insurers wording, which was developed in, uh, came out in about the, uh, the 1990s, something like that. And from those origins, you now have business interruption policies. So when you look at one, and you, you look at what might be considered a standard policy, you would see really two forms. One would be the UK form and one would be the US form.